The USA Visa portal, that is your Travel Docs website, is moving to a new portal and a new platform from 22nd of July 2023. And in this video, we're going to cover everything that you need to know about this change and the exact steps that you have to take right now. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. We have playlists for almost every visa category, so make sure to check it out. We also have a tons of free resources to help you in your visa preparation. So the links for all of that is in the description box below. So the USA visa services in India is all set to move to a new system. Earlier, this move was planned for 15th of July, 2023, but there were some delays. And now the new date is 22nd of July, 2023, that is this month, just a few days from today. Now, before we understand the new system and the changes, let's take a quick look at what the old system looks like. So this is what your current CGI Federal or the Travel Docs website looks like. And once you have filled your DS-160 form and you have submitted it, this is where you come and this is where you land. Now, here is where you need to create your profile, you need to pay the visa fees and then book the appointment. A very important part of this portal right now is the update profile section, which you will see on the left side. An update profile is where all the important details of your profile, that is your name, address, passport number, DS-160 confirmation number are there. In fact, many of these fields are editable right now. That means even after you've created and submitted your profile, you can go back and edit many of these fields. But all of this is set to change. With the new system coming in, this entire portal is going to look very different and also the access and the control you have with respect to what you can change and what you cannot change is also going to be different. Now, before that happens, there are certain steps you need to take to make sure that the fee you have paid and all the data you have entered migrate smoothly to the new system and you do not lose anything. So let's look at what are these exact steps. So the first thing you need to take care of is your US visa fees. So if you've paid the US visa fees, but you've not yet entered the receipt number in your profile, then you need to do this before 19th of July, 2023. Basically any fee that is paid needs to be linked to the profile. And that is when the payment becomes active and allows you to book a slot. So right here on the screen, you will see the screenshot and a box where this receipt number needs to be entered. So if you've paid the visa fees, then look up the receipt number and enter it right here in your profile and make sure that the payment is linked. The second thing you need to take care of is your DS-160 form. Now, like we just saw earlier that in the update profile section in your CGI portal, there is a field called DS-160 confirmation number. Now, this number needs to match the actual form that you're going to submit. So right now, the number might be an old number you have used, or it might be a dummy number that you have used for booking the appointment. If that is the case, make sure that before the system moves to a new portal, the correct DS-160 number is updated for your profile. So you might have to start a new form or you might already be working on the new form, but you've not yet linked the number to the profile. So double check this and make sure that whatever DS-160 form you're filling right now or you have already submitted, the same number is updated right here in the profile under the DS-160 confirmation section. Third thing you need to take care of is email ID of dependents. So if you're booking a visa appointment with your dependents, then each dependent also has a profile and that profile needs an email ID. So it's recommended that you give individual email IDs. Right now, you might have given your email ID or maybe a common email ID, but make sure that individual email IDs are updated for each of the person applying for a USA visa appointment. So these are three really important steps that you need to take care of to make sure that all the data is correct and it migrates smoothly to the new system. Now, another really important thing to understand here is what the future or the new system might look like. Now, the CJ Federal website or the US Travel Docs website in India, in fact, looks very different from other countries. So with the new system, it's probably or it's likely that they move to a uniform system which looks similar as in the other countries. And this means that you might not have a lot of access or control which is there right now. One such example is your DS-160 number. So in a lot of countries outside India, once you submit the DS-160 form, you cannot update it, you cannot change it. And maybe those same things are applied in India as well. Well, we are yet to get full information on this. Once the new system comes into place and we really test it out, try it out, we'll get a sense of what are the changes that are actually happening. But at this point of time, just want you to know that pay a lot of attention to your DS-160 form and maybe in the new system, you might not be able to edit it. So before you submit it, uh, check it thoroughly, verify it and make sure that all the details are in place. 
In fact, if you need help with filling the DS-160 form or getting it reviewed, you can reach out to us. The link for this is in the description box right below. Also, I wanted to cover an update about refused slots. So we get a lot of emails and messages from you asking about when the refused slots are going to open. And this is for people who have given the interview in 2023, but want to give it another try. Well, from the trends that we are seeing over the last couple of months, it's highly likely that these refused slots are going to open soon. All the slots this year have opened much faster compared to the previous intake. So I would say that somewhere around end of July is when you can expect these slots to open up and the interview dates would again range from end of July to about mid of August. So if you're waiting for a refusal slots, just keep a close watch. We also are going to update once these slots open. And meanwhile, keep up your preparation, make sure your DS-160 is ready, your answers are structured and you're practicing them. So these are the important updates I wanted to cover. So just a quick video to bring you up to speed with what changes you can expect in the coming days and the steps that you should take right now. Uh, we have more content coming up for the F1 visa series, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. And also for in-depth preparation, feel free to reach out. We have various preparation plans. We have core and seven day packages. We have one-to-one -one sessions and mocks. And all of these are going to help you get ready for your visa process. The link for all of this is in the description box. Do take a look. And signing off for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.